What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another business breakthrough. In today's business breakthrough, I sit down with Elysium of High Power Pro Painting in Massachusetts. He is just starting out. He just started his business, but um, he asked, what can I do to get more business? What can I do to generate leads? And we really brought it down to the basics. This is an area that I think a lot of us need a refresher on. So even if you have been in business for a long time, just get some of these principles down. Make sure you have them in line. It's a short one. It's a sweet one, uh, but I hammer out the points so he can get started and get going. So I think you're really going to like this business breakthrough. The big question you need to ask yourself every day is, do I own a job or do I own a business? And unfortunately, the majority of contractors out there own a job. That's right. They're a slave to their own business. But the other side of the fence is so much greener. It's so much better. And that's when you're finally fully in control of your destiny, your freedom, your time. And that's what Contractor Secrets is about. It's about taking back our time, building a business with systems, standards, values, procedures, putting yourself in the driver's seat. And that's what it's about. So I'm excited. I'm happy to have you here. Let's dive into the Contractor Secrets podcast. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Business Breakthrough. I have my friend Yelsium here with High Power Pro Painting in massachusetts welcome my friend today uh, i'm here to help you i know that you just started your business i know that you are um really just kind of getting feelers out to see what uh you know the best direction to go in is so whenever i start this i always like to ask you know what is one area of your business that you feel as though you need uh some help or some guidance in and what is an area that you feel like you pretty much uh, have it down pat? You don't really need much help in. So tell me those two things. So I need help for get jobs, like for do with me. Okay. And so kind of trying to trying to get some uh, try to get some leads, some jobs, get your name out there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So whenever I hear that, I always like to kind of touch base on like just some basics. You have to understand marketing as a business owner now you know uh let me just make let me just assume did you work um for somebody else before this or are yes. you just um yes, okay so you work for somebody else before this? gotcha okay um why did you leave what is the reason you left it's a review oh because uh, i would like to open my my business okay so you want to make a little more money right yeah, of course. <laughs> so, all right. So whenever I hear that, I think, okay, first thing you need to understand is if I'm marketing, how are my customers buying? Like how, if I am a customer, what am I doing to find a good contractor? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So we need to put ourselves in the position of a customer. We got to make sure that whenever we put out information, people can see it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does make sense. Makes so sense. you are a customer, believe it or not, as much as you are a business owner, when you need something, what are you doing to find it? What's the first thing you do when you want to go out to eat at a restaurant? Look at the Google. Go right on Google, right? Mm -hmm. So in the same... In the same way, when people need painters, what do you think yeah. they do? They're going to look on the Google. Of course. Okay. Maybe 10 years ago they didn't, but now they look on Google. Okay. So the big question is, if I go on Google and I look for your company, can I find it? Uh, not right now. Right, Not right now. And we talked about yeah. that. And I know you know yeah. that, but I'm just, I want you to understand why, because mm -hmm. I didn't understand why when I first started my business. So I want to make sure you get why you're doing something. Um, so you're not thinking like, is this worth it? Do I spend money on this? You know, I want you to know that that is the reaction that people have now when they want something, they go on Google. Okay. There are a lot of great painters out there. Mm -hmm. but people can't find them <laughs> and you're one of them. Okay. So yes. that's number one is understanding that you need to be online and you need to be found, okay? How do we get found? Well, we want to make sure that we're getting reviews. Now, you just signed up with Drip Jobs, so you're yes. going to get reviews mm -hmm. automatically when you complete a job 
it's going to send out a link for somebody to leave you a review. That helps you because the more reviews that you have, the more people trust you online. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. That's number one. You. Number two is that with your online presence, you're going to be able to build relationships online and get people to trust you with your face, with your brand, with all of these things. So not just reviews. So for us, if you look at my website, we have a video with paint, like our painters and we're painting a house and everyone's happy and there's music. So when people see that, they go, oh, wow, that looks like a fun, engaged experience. They look like I can trust them. Let me make a phone call. So the reason why I'm saying this, my friend, is because you can get on Google, you can get reviews, and people still might not trust you enough to make mm -hmm. a phone call. <laughs> so you've got to be comfortable recording your work every time. If you do cabinets, taking a before picture, taking a progress mm -hmm. picture, taking a after picture, going on Facebook and saying, wow, look at how this transformation happened. Building a Facebook audience that is saying, hey, this is who we are. Get to know us. So they can pick up the phone and meet you because they've already gotten to know you. Does that make sense? Yes, that make sense. That is a long-term plan. That is somebody who says, I want to build relationships with people. So when they hire me, they already know who I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had somebody on my Facebook who I don't know, but he does stonework. Okay. He does exterior stonework and he put out a really awesome post on Facebook. It was just a picture. Okay. And he mm -hmm. said, wow, look at this amazing patio that we installed for the Joneses. Doesn't it look great? Comment below if you like the way that this looks. And just because they did that, I trust that company because I can tell they take pride in their work. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. what did I do as a customer? Always think of a customer. I liked their page. And I thought to myself, if I ever need stonework, I'm calling them first. That was on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I may not need it now, but if but I did, should. I know who they are because they posted on Facebook and they put an emoji and they made me feel good and I trust them. Does that make sense? Yeah, this makes sense. So that's what I, I need to do. That's like what you post need to on do. Face. Yes, you're young. You're, you're a nice guy. Get your face out there because... People want to bring people over to their house that they can trust. Mm -hmm. All right. How do we build trust online? Get in front of the camera, get them to know you. Don't be shy. It's your business that you're putting yourself out there. It's a very good form of marketing. So let's go to part two of this. Let's say you find the customers. The biggest mistake you will ever make in your business. Biggest mistake. Are you ready? Yes is by you doing all the work. Okay. It's going to mm -hmm. be the hardest thing for you to do is to let go. But right now you do not own a business. You might say you own a business, but you own a job. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. All right. You see where I am right now, right? Mm -hmm. I'm in this office. I have jobs working while I am here. Mm-hmm. Okay, that is where I want to get at is helping you understand that right now it's okay, but don't get comfortable doing all the work because it does not matter how good you do on Google and how good you do on Facebook and how good you do getting people to know you if you can't do the jobs because you're so behind and you can't call them because you're so busy, mm -hmm. you can't do estimates because you're loaded with paint and you're in the middle of a cabinet job and you have to keep rescheduling. That is not a business. Okay. okay so I got you. You that's what try. I'm doing right now, but I know. So you should try as best as you can 
to hire right now, even though you might think I have no work. If you know that somebody is depending on you, you will find work. Okay. You know, yes. so you no. need to get in the habit of building a business that does not rely on you to do the work. Oh. Okay. That's my big point for you. And mm -hmm. I don't want to go any further on this coaching call. I don't, because if I give you more then you're going to think about that other stuff and those two pillars I gave you are what you need right now. You don't need any more information. You need to understand your online reputation. You need to get on Facebook. You need to start posting your jobs. You need to start building a Facebook reputation, building an Instagram reputation, searching for hashtags of realtors in your area on Instagram, following their pages, commenting on their pages and saying, Hey, you know, I am the local painter that I want you to refer to your customers because they met you on Instagram and they see that you post good stuff and yes. you're always on the job recording and saying, wow, look how we prep this. Look at the final project. Okay. That's mm -hmm. free marketing. You That's couldn't true. do that 10 years ago. Yeah. Okay. And then That's part true. two is if I come to you in two months and you're still the only one painting, there's a big problem. You didn't listen to me. Okay. So you've got to start thinking, how am I going to find someone else to do the painting for me so I can go do the estimates? Start that's thinking like I'm a business trying owner. to do this right now. What's that? I'm, that's, that's is what I'm trying to do right now. I'm looking for someone. Okay. How are you looking for them? I call... A lot of people I, I meet in the past, like okay. in the five years. That's not the way we look for people anymore because that right there is a shotgun. You know what a shotgun does? Mm -hmm. What does a shotgun do? It spreads the shells all over. Mm -hmm. You're not hitting anything. Okay? You need to be a sniper. You need to line it up in the scope, man, like this. And mm -hmm. know exactly what you're looking for. Okay? Okay. You need somebody that you trust to take over your position as the best painter. Okay. You need to try putting out an ad on indeed, putting out an ad on Craigslist, putting out an ad on zip recruiter, putting out an ad and saying, Hey, I have this position open. So when somebody who is currently working for one of your competitors doesn't like their job, your ad is there and they can call you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So calling around is okay, but that's not professional. Okay. So try to make it to where whatever you do in your business is a professional approach to hiring. All right. So I need to do on what's the website you say? Indeed. Craigslist, Craigslist. recruiter. Absolutely. Okay. okay. And what I'm going to do for you is I'm actually going to give you my hiring course for free. Perfect. So you can Thank go you. through it and you can listen to it. It tells you how to do it. It tells you what you need to do mm -hmm. and it'll help you get your name out there. Get, get you some applicants. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Right. Awesome, brother. Thank you for your time. Was this helpful? Yes, of course. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to work right. in this right now. I'm going to I love it. I love my it. Instagram, everything. Yeah, you get do. it going, man. Get excited. Get your name you get out there. Someone. You do great work. People need to know about it. They don't know you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. All right, brother. Thank but you for your they, time. They're going to know me. They're going to know you. The Two months from now, you're going to be in a much different position. So, all, all right, right, man. Thank you. Okay. Drip Jobs CRM is finally here. That's right. So, Drip Jobs is an automation platform for contractors, home service professionals that's going to automatically follow up with your customers. It's going to allow you to send invoices, estimates. It's going to allow you to send out blast marketing emails to individuals based on where they are in the buying process. This software is next level. And I'm reaching out to you. You're a listener of this podcast, and I want you to be one of the first ones to give it a shot. So if you want to see what Drip Jobs can do for your business, I'd love for you to head over to dripjobs.com, sign up for a free demo and get your team involved and let us sit with you and show you how powerful this software is. It's going to save you time. It's going to make you money 
and you're gonna love the features that are built into Drip Jobs. So if you wanna check it out, head over to dripjobs.com and we will give you first priority being a podcast listener uh, to be one of the very first to try out Drip Jobs in your home service business. I'm super excited to share that with you and I'll catch you on the next episode.